Hi everyone! Today's video will be a little different from my usual art videos. I just have so much work to do on different things like my Patreon, Etsy, my art business, commissions, you name it. And I've been pushing and pushing these things, but I'm starting to get closer to certain deadlines and some of these things I really need to do, like now. So I thought that instead of just skipping the video for this week and work on all the other stuff, why not try to make like a studio vlog? I don't know, I just thought it was a good compromise instead of having no video at all. I have no idea if this will be fun or interesting and I know I'm selling it really hard right now, but I do know that a lot of people really enjoy studio vlogs and I like to try new things, so let's try this. Also, I will probably do a lot of voiceover for this video because the only camera that I have to film this with is my phone that I'm using right now and unfortunately the audio on the phone it sounds like poop so I'm not gonna torture you with that for a whole video and yes I'm using an external microphone for the audio right now but I can't really use it all the time when I'm filming. I do have my chunky DSLR camera but I don't want to break my wrist from using this a whole week. Ooh, that's a nasty scratch. Good thing it's only the protective lens. Maybe this will be more of a tour of a few days in my life. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy. So here's my art studio. You may have seen some bits from it in previous videos. So since it is Monday and I'm usually pretty slow and tired on Mondays, I started the week by cleaning the art studio. I know, very exciting. It wasn't very messy to begin with. It's been way, way worse, trust me. But since I'm gonna do a bunch of filming in the studio and a lot of office work, I feel like it would be nice to have some clean surface and spaces to help the mood and creativity. Also, I found my nail file under the stand of one of my computer screens. I thought it was lost forever, so now I could finally cut my witchy nails. I don't mind long nails on others, but my nails, they do these weird curly things when they bends around. I don't know what's going on, but I like to keep them fairly short. Ah, oh, there we have it, nice and clean ready for business. I also totally forgot last week to scan and post my newest art to Redbubble, so I went ahead and did that. My scanner is made for A4 papers, and this watercolor paper from Artessa, I think it is, it is slightly bigger, so I need to scan it in two parts and then put the two pieces together in Photoshop. And it can sometimes be a little tricky to align the two pieces, especially if I accidentally scanned one of the parts a little crooked, but this time it went pretty smoothly, thankfully. And then I just needed to upload it on Redbubble, which also takes a little time to adjust it to all the different products. And I'm very happy that this piece had a background so I could just keep it the way it is. When I have a piece without the background, I like to cut them out so that they look nicer on t-shirts and all the other products. And that takes a little more time, so I'm very thankful that I didn't have to do that.
And then after some grocery shopping and dinner and tea, I sat down and created the Cattober piece for the day and the prompt is Lunar Cat. And this is like a cozy little end of the day, sitting by the computer, listening to a podcast or watching art videos. I'm really into watching or listening to Rhett and Link's podcast, Ear Biscuits, and sometimes I'm having Game Grumps on in the background or Drawfee or any other art YouTuber, or sometimes it is just music. It kind of depends on the mood I'm in, but it is just a relaxing little moment before going going to bed. Today is Tuesday and yesterday I did a list of stuff that needed to be done this week and I'm pretty sure I won't be able to finish all of them but something that I really need to do is to set up my Patreon page and the different tiers. I've already started but I haven't really finished it so that is what I'm gonna do. I want the tiers to be affordable for the Patreons but also not too much overwhelming work for me but I think I figured out a good balance. I also decided to redesign the icons for the different tiers. I originally made these gray little kitties and they are cute and all that but they are also quite boring to be honest. I wanted something more colorful and eye-catching and I've been experimenting with a different coloring style which I very much enjoy. Doing these little dots or whatever you could call it, I don't know, but I really like the look of it. And here they are before and after and I am in love. They are so adorable. I am much more happy with this and it feels like it fits my style and branding a lot better. And then after dinner and some tea, I worked on the Cattober piece, which is Nerdy Cat. And it seems like I didn't do that much today. Not that I have to do a lot of things every day, but some of the things was just too boring to film. You know, business stuff and phone calls. I did actually call my cell phone operator and I asked for a better deal for my subscription. I currently have a 10 gigabyte subscription, but I barely use one gigabyte per month because I work from home with Wi-Fi so I got a cheaper deal so that's exciting but uh, I just hate making phone calls it takes so much energy from me for some reason and I know I need to call my accountant tomorrow too so fun fun but yeah the nerdy little cat I tried to come up with a better cat pun for the book title but I guess this is all what I got for today. So today it's Wednesday and it is such a grey and rainy day which makes me so tired. I don't know how it is with you guys but the weather really affects me, especially the changes from high to low pressure and the other way around. So I am a little slow today. I did a little bit of research for online store plugins for WordPress, which is where I have my website that I also need to do a little bit of work on, but I will save that for another day. But I've been thinking of having a store on my website as an addition to Etsy since there are so, so many fees on Etsy, but I need to do a little bit of more research on that before I decide on anything. Thank you. 
I also decided to remake the banner for my Patreon page. The first one I just threw together to have something on there and it is cute with the caterpillar, but I wanted something that matches the tier images a little better. I don't know, I just want to feel more cohesive and well thought out. You really get a lot of art in this video, way more than in a regular art video. I don't know how interesting it is though, but I hope you enjoy seeing the process behind the art and the work that I do. And I also made that dreaded phone call to my accountant. He is super great and all, so it's not that, but I always feel a little stupid when calling him because I barely know what I'm asking or what he is talking about. But we worked out a plan for the future Etsy earnings and the shipping and all that, which makes me so relieved. That is a phone call that I've been meaning to make for a while now. And now I can finally get started with making things for the shop. I'm so excited to get to work on Etsy stuff again. And this is how the banner turned out, a lot better in my opinion, I love it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We just received some super, super awesome and exciting news. This is something that we were, we were that we've been waiting for for a long time. I won't tell you just yet what it is though, but trust me, there will be a lot of pictures in just a few weeks or so. So, 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 so. But yeah, super happy. And no, I'm not pregnant on. on. Today it's first day and I decided that my Etsy shop needed a new look too. I haven't really changed it since 2016, which is when it was last open. I changed the color of the Patreon banner and I adjusted it to fit for Etsy. I also fixed the shop profile picture to match the color of the banner and I updated the shop owner image and some of the information and it may not look like much when you're just looking at it but it is the details that makes the whole and now it feels new and fresh. I also went ahead and changed the banner for Redbubble too. And while I was at it, I remade the banner for YouTube as well. It has been bothering me for a while now, it just feels so boring and stiff. And there was a little bit of fiddling around until I got all the things where I wanted it to be. There are so many options how it will fit on computer, TV and mobile. And I don't want the image or the text to be cropped or shopped or anything, so I think I got it right eventually. So now my branding looks cohesive and nice everywhere, besides on my website, but as I said, I will save that for later. Alright, so let's do a quick little unboxing of these Redbubble packages because I'm so excited to see what's inside. The reason to why I am so excited is because this is product from my own shop, so I'm just very interested to see how the prints and everything, what it looks like, so yeah, let's open these. Oh, this is so cute. A little rocket kitty. And I guess this portion of the video would be sponsored by Redbubble because they actually made it possible for me to get these things. So yeah, thank you very much Redbubble. And if you would like to check out my Redbubble store and get some cute designs for yourself, I will have a link in the description box below along with a 15% discount code. So yeah. I think these might be the phone cases. We have a cute sticker. 
Oh, this one is so shiny. So one case for me and one case for my boyfriend. We have like a soft shell happy cat iPhone case. And then we have this adorable I need my space astronaut kitty for Samsung Galaxy. And this one is like a snap on case. And I can tell right now that this is a little off center. That is definitely something that I need to fix in my shop. It isn't that noticeable though, but I will fix that. <laughs> Oh, look at this. I think this might be the postcard sticker. Oh, this is so cute. And yes, I just ordered one, but I wanted to see what it looked like. I even said pastel permates on the backside and the link to my Redbubble store. That is awesome. Thick and nice quality. And then we have this adorable packet. Yay, we have shirts. Another cute sticker and some washing advice. It should be cold washed only and please don't slap pandas. That is one great advice. So colorful and cute. We have a black shirt with my abstract kitty cat on it. Now let's open this one. And these are not the only packages that I've received from Redbubble. There is actually a few more that I've already opened and I'm still waiting for a few more. So wow, this is a weird package. And I might also mention the reason why Redbubble send out a bunch of different packages for all of these products is because different products are manufactured in different factories. So they are sent out from different places. So that is why there are so many packages. Oh, I got my very own happy cat mug. And then we have this guy, the dairy cat, I think I call it. And this is for my mom. Got this very nice and sturdy air to hold. This will be a nice addition to my 1000 mugs that I already have, but I just love mugs. Also, quick question, when you get a mug, do you prefer having the print facing towards you or away from you or like on the side of the mug like here. I mean some people are actually left-handed so for some people it will actually be facing away from you. But yeah what do you prefer? Maybe I should make a design with two prints, one on both sides. See that is why it is so great to actually get some of the products to look at because you can kind of see what is working and what is not working. But yeah super exciting. I'm really looking forward to show you some other things but that will be in another video and again thank you Redbubble. And then we have today's after dinner and tea catober piece and I actually went to a seance this evening too so this one got a little rushed before I had to go to bed but yeah, I just love going to these seance evenings. It is such a cozy and relaxing environment with a lot of candles and tea. And I've been going to these seance evenings for a few years now. They happen a few times a year and it is such a cozy and relaxing environment. A lot of candles and tea. Plus that you also get a message to help and guide you. And it is nothing dark or spooky or anything. Thing. There are only good and light energies and the person holding the seance, it is just a normal woman, I mean normal like you and I. She's just a few years older than me and a dear friend of mine. She's not working with tarot cards or crystal balls or anything. Not that there is anything wrong with that, but that isn't how she works. She also holds different courses and classes like meditation, which I've been going to since 2014. It is so good. Meditation has helped me a lot with anxiety, among other things. But anyway, here we have him, a little scaredy cat. Love how fluffy he turned out. Night night. Yeah, today it's Friday and I need to edit this video and make a thumbnail and, and post it on YouTube and all that fun stuff. So I'm probably just gonna end this here. But let me know what you thought of this studio vlog or whatever you could call it. 
tour but I'm gonna be honest I actually really enjoyed it it was a very nice change of pace it sparked some new energy just doing something else for a week than just art videos and don't get me wrong I love making art videos and there will probably be a new one next week but let me know if I should ever do this again and if there is something that I should do differently till next time there probably is something that I will probably change till next time is that I'm definitely gonna try to do more real-time talking I don't know how fun it is to listen to voiceover of stuff that I'm doing I don't know that is just how it ended up this time but this is still new to me so I'm still experimenting to see what's working and what is but at least you got a little bit of art and a little bit of Sally so I really hope you enjoy this video anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you next time keep drawing my happy cats bye